Um, but the reason you always want to have a mental checklist is so you know, or excuse me, a strategy is that you know what your mental checklist is supposed to be. So here we are at the start of the game. I, in this game, I am going to just get 12 stalkers as fast as I can. Is that good? Is that bad? Doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. All that's important is that that is my plan. So I am going to build a probe, send my guys to mine, and not really worry about anything too much. Not worry about splitting everything super uh, easily, uh, you know, getting everything one on each patch. And I'm going to try to be clicking exactly one time for everything that I want to be doing. Um, just as a, first of all, a demonstration that you don't exactly need speed, that instead what you need is to have good timing and a good memory to have a good mental checklist. And of course, I've left the mental checklist intentionally vague. So what am I doing? I'm sending my probe early to build my pylon. Uh, it ended up getting constructed late because I was talking. Um, but for instance, First thing I'm aware of is that I am going to want to chrono boost. I want to chrono boost my next probe. I want to chrono boost my next probe. I want to chrono boost my next probe. That's all I'm really thinking of. Bam. So notice it didn't require speed, didn't require me spamming a bunch, didn't even require my keyboard hand, which is currently waving around in the air as I talk, just required me to remember. So now I'm remembering that I want to be building a gateway. I'm going to build it on 13. So here I am. I'm going to send my guy early. So, there's the gateway building down right now. So that's one thing that I think is super important to acknowledge, is the importance of just throwing this gateway down as soon as I have the money for it. And, oh, okay, so I'm going to come up here. I'm going to build this assimilator. And, uh-oh, what have I been forgetting right now? It seems like I'm building probes. I'm building all my buildings. Oh, it's the chrono boost that I'm, I'm, I'm not remembering. And I'm not going to lie. Right now, I'm probably playing it. 20 actions per minute. Not extraordinarily high by any sense. Um, but I am just remembering to do the things that I need to do. And now, notice that my strategy is extraordinarily basic. Just get 12 Dragoons. Just get 12 Dragoons. And I'll actually pause it for a moment. It's just get 12 Dragoons, get 12 Dragoons, get 12 Dragoons. Um, but... Again, what's so important is to have the memory of making everything go really smoothly. And I always... Uh, yeah, yeah, and I said Dragoons. Sorry, Dragoons are Stalkers. They're the same thing. The only thing that's different about them is that when Stalkers die, they don't explode into a giant puddle of blue goo in the way they did so rewardingly in Brood War. Um, but my, my strategy is, you know, obviously what I want to do, but it is so, 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 so important that you do everything cleanly and on time and that you have good timing with everything. And again, to make the analogy to chess, I want to put my knight here and my pawn here and my rook here. I want to do all three of those things, but the question is about timing. Do I have enough time to even move that rook for the next 10 turns? Maybe not. Maybe I don't have enough time and I'm just going to focus on my knight and my pawn for now and then have to do all the other things that get in the way. Um, you know, if he's making some sort of various attacks or pressure in some way. You need, need, need to be able to um, have that, that skill in your pocket, right? You need to be able to uh, discern when the right time to build the right thing is. So um what i'm just noting right now is is some things that i'm trying to remember to do in my strategy and first we're just going to go through this example and then we're going to start establishing a mental checklist and okay well my my gateway finished so i'm building a cybernetics core and oh no i'm forgetting to chrono boost i will continue to chrono boost and i want you to note that my money is pretty damn low at this point it's not really getting very high at all I'm not suffering from the issues that many players suffer from, which is just that they um, uh, their money gets high because they, um, you know, they think they are not playing fast enough. It's not speed. It's not speed at all that we're talking about. It's memory. It's am I remembering to do all the things that I need to do? So right now I haven't actually forgotten a probe. Uh, oh, there's my cybernetic score finishing, and. In a moment, in a moment, once we finish with this example, I'm going to talk about all the places that my eye is looking. And I'm going to do a really stupid looking example 
of, uh, well, it's not stupid looking, but stupid sounding example of where your thought process should be at all points in time. So notice, I'm not using shift keys, I'm not using hotkeys. Look down here, notice that nothing is hotkeyed. I'm just doing everything with mouse and keyboard, and I have some simple rules that I'm following in my head that's allowing me to execute everything relatively easily. And of course, my Pro V is happily mining. And by the way, for any of you who don't use a build order tester, I definitely recommend doing it. And we're going to get to what makes this strateginess so interesting uh, in just in a little bit. Oh, my stalker finished. I didn't. I didn't hear him. <laughs> And we'll get back to listening in a little bit. Oh, but yeah, let's chrono boost this thing. Oh, look, my, my food's getting kind of high. So I'm going to build another pile on. And you'll, you'll, you'll kind of note my mouse is starting to move a little bit faster. It's starting to be a little bit zippier. And it's not because I train myself to spam the keyboard really hard. It's not because of any of that stuff. It's just because I am remembering all the stuff that I need to do. And I'm going to come back to one of my favorite opponents of all time and one of my favorite players of all time, the famous Canadian player Testy, who, if you don't know, just go look up World Cyber Games Grand Finals and just watch how many times he's gotten to the top. And, um, you know, he's taking games off the top Korean pros. He is just a phenomenal player, period, period. And, like, a, a completely inarguable, one of the best um, Brood War players of all time. And his APM was really low. I mean, especially when he was, um, I mean, right when he quit, probably around 140 actions per minute. Sounds fast, but, you know, we'll come back to it in a little bit. Um, but, I mean, for most of his career, he was at like 120, 130, sometimes at like 100. He just didn't play very quickly at all. However, he was training with Korean pros. He would regularly send me replays of him beating Korean pros. But like, having a good replays? He's like, yeah, sure. And he'd send me 10 epic games of him, like, 9 wanting Stork. I mean, like, just so good. And it's all because he had a really, really, really good memory of what he had to be doing at all points in time. In a sense... Um, because I know there's a lot of players out there who are just discouraged. Like, How do I get my APM up? And there's generally two things I recommend. One is to spam like crazy, get used to your hands moving quickly, and then come back and try to figure out and sort of delegate, you know, well, now that I have the hand speed, how do I assign the hand speed? Um, but the other thing that pretty much all players who played for long periods of time uh, have done, you know, players who started right when they were a wee lad, is that um, over time they just start remembering all the stuff that they need to do. And if you remember everything you need to do, your hands are naturally going to go, oh, Jesus, I need to start doing this stuff. And um, very simple rule that I'm going to say right now. Never think about what I'm doing right now. Think about the next thing I want to be doing. It sounds obvious, sounds easy, but there's a lot of stuff going on. So you know what? Let's let's do that right now. Let's let's talk out loud a little bit. Um, so you know, I, I'm I built a pro, but I'm noticing that my pylon is high, and as I'm doing that, I'm thinking, okay, my money is high as well. I need to be building the stalkers. Now, as I'm here at the stalkers, it, are my probes building? Okay, it is building, and my chrono boost just finished. Okay, so I'm aware that I need to be chrono boosting. Um, my probe, I would imagine my probe's getting close to done now. I'd imagine getting close to done. There it is, and now I need to uh, warp these to warp gates. That stalker should almost be done here. No, it's about halfway done. Okay, uh, well, I'm probably going to get a Twilight Council because I want to be getting Blink here in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Are my Warp Gates done? Yeah, they're done. Is my Probe getting close to finish? There's two things I want to be doing right now. My Probe is probably getting close to finish at my Nexus. I want to be building another one. Okay, my Gateway just finished. And okay, I'm looking up at my food. My food's okay. My food's okay. My money's also low. Um, are my Warp Gates getting close to finish? No. Looks like they're still going on. Is my Twilight Council getting close to finish? No. I should probably expand here. So I'm going to expand. What about my Stalkers? Are those getting close to finish yet? Everywhere I'm looking throughout here, I'm thinking about the other thing. I'm looking here, but I am aware of the minimap. I'm actually staring at the minimap right now. Because I'm thinking about this probe that I had sent here. And oh, my Twilight Council's finished. Oh my god, my probe's probably done. Yes, it is. And I'm not chrono boosting. Whoopsie daisies. Uh, I need to make sure I'm continuing to macro with my Stalkers. I should probably build a pylon down here now that I think of it. Uh, is my food getting high? Yeah, well, it's getting pretty high. Is that probe done yet? Yeah, that probe just finished. And, again, pretty, pretty straightforward. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, that's the warp gate button. Yeah, I never use that one. <laughs> um, but you're starting to see that 
all I'm saying to myself in my head is the next thing I need to do. In the early game, it's pretty straightforward to do that. It's pretty straightforward to just set this list up for yourself and just constantly be yelling at yourself to, you know, do the one of three things that you need to do, which is basically build units from your one structure, build probes, and make pylons or supply depots um, or overlords or what have you. Um, or hopefully something, uh, some sort of Zelnaga unit, Blizzard, uh, does Zelnaga, is there going to be a playable race in a single player? Ooh, ooh, that would be tasty. But alas, my, my, my nerdgasm, I'll digress back. Um, but it gets, it gets hard as the game goes on. Once you have like the whole map, there's a lot of things that you need to be remembering to do. And that's why you see players generally, their APM's high and it trickles down over time. It's not because